Hello to everyone. Good day. Um, we are here again for another topic in quantitative methods. So what we'll, we will deal today will be um, analyzing t-tests or doing t-tests in what we call a software, statistical software, which is JASP. Okay. So by definition, <clears throat> um, t-test is a type of inferential statistics wherein it is used if there is a, a significant difference <clears throat> between the means of two groups, which can be um, related in certain features. So, um, a researcher may only have one mean, and he or she would like to test it uh, in a known or hypothesized mean. So, this, there are um, different types of t-test. We do have independent samples t-test, paired samples t-test, and one samples t-test. Now, in our case, um, in this example, we'll be exploring on analysis of independent samples t-test. So, uh, this kind of t-test will allow you to test um, the null hypothesis that the means of two, in the two independence group, groups are equal. So, what we need to do right now is we basically need to create a spreadsheet or our data set. So I created this data set with four variables, programming grade, technical scores, private, public, and economic status. So these are the values. You can type it on your own uh, using any spreadsheet program. Okay, you can just pause this video if you want to. So there are 14 um, records on this data set. Okay. So make sure that it is saved on a CSV file. Okay. So it must be a CSV file. Okay, I called I just called it sample data set. Okay. Let's go back there. Okay. So you need to open Jazz. Okay, so basically this is Jazz. You need to open the program. Let's make it bigger. All right. So let's open the data set. You go to computer and uh, my data set is basically stored in documents, I believe. Yes. And here is sample data set. It must be the CSV file. So the icons here um, with the green one, this is the JAS file, okay, because I already have um, uh, did a analysis of this data set previously. Okay, so you select the um, CSV file and then click OK. So basically this is our um, data, data set, okay. Programming grade, technical scores, private, public, and economic status. Okay, so what we need to do now is we go to t test, and then since we'll be dealing with independent samples, so we need to click this um, option independent samples t test. Okay, so we will be placing programming grade in the variable in the variable box and then private, public. In the grouping variable. So take note that um, t-test is used for grouping variables. Uh, the grouping variables must have at least on, only two a, uh, options or values. Example for this case, um, our private public variable only have two values. So basically uh, you need to uh, uh, select um, variables with two values for t-test. Okay, so the programming grade is in the variables box and then our grouping variable will be um, private public. Okay, so we'll be um, selecting the student um, t-test and then Welch test. And then we'll be um, presenting an additional statistics, which is a location parameter. In default, it is 
95% confidence interval. You can change it later on if you want to. Um, but the default in JAS is 95% on its interval. You can uh, select and present an effect size. So we'll be using Cohen's D for the effect size. And then descriptives. <clears throat> the descriptives is just for the mean, um, the sum, median, etc. Um, we will also provide a descriptive plots with inter confidence interval of 95%. Okay. So, so this is the output, okay? I think I missed something here. Just give me a moment. Okay. Program read student watch. Okay. I think ah, we will check the assumption checks. Okay, we will check the normality and equality of variances for the assumption checks. Okay, okay let's close this. Let's proceed on the So let's discuss first the assumption check. Okay. Okay. So we do have the test of normality. Okay. Shapiro Wilk. Okay. The Shapiro Wilk test basically show that both groups have normally distributed data. Okay. So there, therefore, the assumption of normality is not violated. So if one or both were significant, okay, you should consider using the non-parametric equivalent man Whitney test. Now we will show you the uh, I will show you the test of equality of variances or the Levine's test. So as you notice, its f is 0 0.100, df is 1, and p is 0 0.757. So Levine's test shows that there is no difference in variance. So as you notice there, um, no less difference in, in variance. So therefore, the assumption of its homogeneity of variance is not violated. So if, if Levine's test is, was significant, Welch adjusted PT statistics, degrees of freedom in P value should be reported. Okay. Now we will proceed with our uh, the main result of our p test. So this is the main result. Okay, programming grade. Um, we did the student and Welch test, and then statistics. Yeah. So this table shows two computed t statistics. Okay, remember that t statistic is derived from the mean difference divided by the standard error of the difference. So the t statistics is 0 0.228 for the stu in the student t test and 0 0.232 in Welch. Welch. So both show no significant statistical difference in programming grades between the private and the public group since p-value, as you notice in the student t test, is 0 0.823 and it is greater than 0 0.05 for the p-value. So I'll just show you the mean difference, the uh, SE difference, and the Cohen's D. Okay, but we'll just focus with the t statistics and the p-value. Okay, so both show no significant statistical difference in the student and Welch because both p-values are greater with our confidence uh, interval is 95%, so our um, significant uh, level would be 0 0.05. So if the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, we accept the null hypothesis. Thus, there is no significant difference between groups. Cohen's D also suggests that this is a small effect. 
towards the mean. Okay. So let's just um, check the descriptives. So this is the descriptives. So based on the descriptive data, it has a little, little differences in the mean. Okay. So there is a little difference between private and public in terms of the mean. Okay, so for private, it's 86.25. For public, it's 85.33. So in, in this case, there is a very small difference in the mean and in the descriptive plot shows that it does not have a significant difference between private and public. So basically, we can therefore um, conclude that there is no significant difference in the programming grades when grouped according to private or public. Okay? So this is our results. And thank you for listening. So I hope you learned something how to do t-test analysis or t-test in JASP. So you can um, watch the next video. It will be about um, ANOVA analysis, also using JASP.